Hey guys, it's been kind of a while since I was able to do just like a candid video and not a stream or anything like that. And um, I was waiting to kind of do a video that really felt like a video I would care about or something that I wanted to do. And I don't know if those of you have been following along with the Free Britney campaign that's been going on. It's just kind of been trending on social media. It's regarding Britney Spears' conservatorship that she's been a part of for the past 13 years. Um, there was, it started just kind of as like a conspiracy theory that perhaps, you know, she didn't want to be in this this conservatorship anymore and that she was hoping to get out of it, but she was under control of lawyers and, you know, handler type people. Um, I'm going to do another video covering her conservatorship as well as the reason why the conservatorship has become so prevalent right now is that Britney Spears last week, as of today that I'm recording this, she went to court and she actually spoke out against her conservators and the conservatorship and pretty much her whole family. Brittany had a lot to say. She had been quiet for a very long time, 13 years, in fact, and she felt as if people wouldn't believe her. It's actually quite sad because so many people were pulling for her, and I really hope that it is from the internet and the strength of the Free Britney campaign that she found the strength to be able to speak out against the situation that she's in. So, like I said, this all came to light because Britney Spears spoke up about not wanting to be in her conservatorship anymore. She spoke so badly about the situation that she said that she feels that some of the people involved, all of the people involved in keeping her in this situation should be in jail. Those are her exact words. She said that she would like to sue her whole family. <clears throat> Last time I checked, Jamie Lynn Spears is part of the Spears family. Jamie Lynn Spears is the younger sister of Britney Spears. She, um, I don't really know much about her. I was a huge Britney Spears fan. It's actually funny because we don't, I know people, some people collect these little things like Popco's or like whatever they're called. I don't collect them, but I, and I've never had any, but I had to have Britney, bitch. This was like, I think, Britney, like 2001 VMAs when she performed with the snake. Britney Spears made me love snakes, like Loki. She was so badass. In I grew up in, you know, the 90s. I'm a 90s kid, and I absolutely adored Britney Spears, like from the start, like Mickey Mouse Club years, like, you know, oops, I did it again. She's so lucky. Girl, you toxic. All the way to the 2008 Britney, where we were like, what is going on, girl? We're worried for you. So I'm going on and on about my love for Britney. I, I do. And I think there's something about like the millennial generation. We all have like this spot in our heart for Britney of all of the teen idols and teen stars because. <sighs> I don't know, in a way, all of those kids are held to like a really high standard. So it's easy to see why they can go off the tracks. But for Britney, it was like she was just doing normal things. And she was made to believe that she was such a horrible person. And honestly, I can like relate to that. I remember in like my early 20s, I was not making the best decisions. And my family thought I was absolutely crazy. So like... If I, if I were Britney Spears making like millions of dollars for my family, I could see them being like, whoa, slow your roll, girl. We need to like take control. Um, so I don't know. Maybe at like a certain point, the conservatorship was necessary, but she doesn't want it anymore. Girl does not want it anymore. This video is not about her conservatorship. It's not about her speaking out about it. It's not about any of that. It's actually a response from Jamie Lynn Spears, Britney Spears' younger sister. Um, I guess after Britney came out and said that she wanted to sue her family, a lot of people were coming for Jamie Lynn Spears. She received a lot of hate on the internet. Um, 
you know, like Twitter, she was receiving a lot of threats. And actually, there was a petition to have her canceled off of her new show that's starting on Netflix. I don't, I honestly don't know anything about these are like things I've heard. So this, um, you can take that for what it's worth. But there's actually a real change.org trying to get her off of this show, which I'm not sure if it's like a reboot of a show she was on or like what the deal is. But <clears throat> People are not happy with Jamie Lynn Spears right now. Just so Jamie Lynn Spears went on Instagram Live and she put out a little um, video kind of just addressing the rumors and saying she's in support of Britney. Um, a lot of people have analyzed it. I just kind of want to watch it with you guys and kind of like give you my opinion of what I think because um, I never had an opinion either way of Jamie Lynn Spears, but just... This, this is honestly my first impression of her, period. So to just watch it authentically with you guys and then like react to it, that feels very good for me um, for a video to come back and uh, get things going. And then hopefully after this one, we'll get the video about Britney and her conservatorship and the way she spoke out about it. I want to do a really good in-depth video about it. So anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Jamie Lynn Spears video. I am going to listen to it through here and then we can watch it together and just kind of go from there. Um, hey, everybody, I just want to take a second to address a few things. Uh, the only reason I haven't before is because I felt like until my sister was able to speak for herself and say what she felt she needed to say publicly, that it wasn't my place and it wasn't the right thing to do. Okay, so initially, I'm not, I'm going to try not to pause it a million times because I don't want this video to be too long. But first thing, it just feels very, like, frantic and forced. Like, she's like, hey, guys, hey, everyone, real quick, just down in the basement, secretly doing this video. Hope nobody hears me or sees me. <laughs> she almost looks scared, like, the way she looks off. Okay. Um, but now that she's very clearly spoken and um, said what she needed to say. I feel like I can follow her lead and say what I feel I need to say. Okay, so she's saying that she was waiting for her sister to be able to speak publicly on it, and she felt like it wasn't her place to speak publicly on it. I think that's fair to say in a lot of situations, you know, like if you find out some kind of secret and you feel like it's not your secret to share, that's fine. But this is a little different. This was your own family in a situation where they were being taken advantage of and they weren't able to speak for themselves due to the conservatorship. And that's something that you would have known well. Um, I think it's extremely clear that it's the day I was born. I've only loved, adored, and supported my sister. I mean, this is my freaking big sister before any of this bullshit. Since the day I was born, I've only loved, adored, and supported my sister. Imagine growing up being the younger sister of pop queen, pop princess, now pop queen, Britney Spears. That would be a hard act to, <laughs> no pun intended, but that would be a hard act to follow. So uh, there's a part of me that feels like there's a lot of resentment there. Like I in no way, like I've only adored my sister from the time I was born. So you would, you would adore your sister, but there would be a point in time where you maybe would see how others adored her and wish they adored you in the same way. That would be very natural for a young girl to feel. I don't care if she wants to run away to rainforest and have a zillion babies in the middle of nowhere or if she wants to come back and dominate the world the way she has so many times before. Because I have nothing to gain or lose either way. Okay, sis. The way that... Okay, so she says... She says she doesn't care if Brittany wants to run away to the rainforest and have a million babies. Which is like... A crazy, just a crazy thing to say. So for her to attribute like a crazy thing like that for something that perhaps Brittany would want to do makes you think that maybe she has some type of feeling about like the decision she would make if she was not in her conservatorship. 
But then she follows it up. It's almost like a like a bite of the tongue. Like she said the craziest thing she could think of. And then she had to backtrack and was like, or if she came back and dominated like she has a million times before. Because she has Queen Britney bitch work. But it's just, it, it was a very odd... I, th- I would think that if I were speaking, I don't have a sister, I have brothers. <laughs> but I would think that if I were speaking about my sister, I would talk about her successes and triumphs rather than be like, oh, if she wanted to go live in a treehouse with a monkey, that'd be fine. <laughs> like, mm, I don't know. That just was, a, that just came off as such an odd, odd, odd thing to say this honestly seems just like a very emotional maybe she was like up all night like reading comments from people and just like couldn't take it and she was like this I'm going live but also the fact that she went live and didn't add it to her actual Instagram means it would just disappear so not a lot of people would see it so maybe she felt like she had to make a comment but didn't want to make something that would be permanent I don't know This situation does not affect me either way because I am only her sister who is only concerned about her happiness. happiness. This situation doesn't affect me either way. I don't know. It would seem like if your sister wasn't happy, that would affect you in some way. If you cared. She kind of comes off as like, I don't know, I'm not sure how old she is, but she comes off as like a entitled teenager who really doesn't have time for this problem. I've made a very conscious choice in my life to only participate in her life as her sister, as an aunt to those boys. I have seen so many channels that say don't do, don't ever do this because it looks fake. And like, I actually do this sometimes. Like if I see, I'm like, oh, a cute puppy. (laughs) But like... That seemed very staged. That that seemed very, very staged. Like, um, she did the, this. There was, like, a tonal change in her voice. As her sister. And there was a weird, like, wipe. Maybe she just had, like, a bug. <laughs> I just had a bug. But, um, that, that was, I don't know. There is just something off about this and maybe it's just the fact that she's very emotional I want to give her the benefit of the doubt because I don't know the whole there's no way anyone could know the whole story maybe I didn't support the way the public would like me to with a hashtag on a public platform but I can assure you that I've supported my sister long before there was a hashtag and I'll support her long after note that oh girl she came with that southern like I supported my sister before there was a hashtag and I supported her long after. Like, and she made dead eye contact to the camera. That is just, she wanted to be intense. She wanted to make a point. Um, There's a lot of sass there. She was not happy. So she, she believes that she's been supportive to her sister the way that she should have been. Um, I don't, I don't like the sass. This, I don't know if this is, I don't even know what to call this video, an apology video, a um, public relations video. <laughs> Let's watch it a little further. I mean, I've worked since I was nine years old. I've paid my own freaking bills since I was 10 years old. Not that I owe the public anything because my sister knows I love and support her. And that's the only person I owe anything to. She said she worked since she was nine years old and paid her own frickin' bills since she was 10 years old. <laughs> like, girl, what, were you buying your own slime? I can't. I'm not my family, I'm my own person, I'm speaking for myself. She said, I'm not my family, I'm my own person, I'm speaking for myself. That might be like a distancing thing because Brittany said she wants to sue her whole family. I'm so proud of her for using her voice. I'm so proud of her for requesting new counsel, like I counsel, like I told her to do many years ago. Oh, not on a big public platform, but just in a personal conversation between two sisters. So I'm very proud that she's taken that step. This is so petty. Okay, so then she says she's proud that she's using her voice and standing up for herself. She's proud that she's requesting new counsel. Like she told her to do years ago. 
oh, but not on a big platform and a sister-to-sister conversation. Like, why do you have to be so snarky about it? I'm sure people would believe you more if you were just nice. If ending the conservatorship, if flying to Mars or whatever the hell else she wants to do to be happy, I support that. Oh, oh, (laughs) I can't. She said... If ending the conservatorship or flying to Mars is what she wants to do, this just sounds like some toxic ass family shit where they're like, like, don't believe in your dreams, but she's Britney fucking Spears. Like, get real. She wants to fly to the moon. Also, if she does want to fly to the moon, hit up Elon Musk because it's not too far out of reach. I love my sister, always have, always will, as long as she's happy. So. Let's keep praying. That's all. I support her as long as she's happy. Certain phrasing is critical. So I support my sister. The end, you would think. But as long as she's happy. So does this mean if if she's not happy, then you don't support her? Or... Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but sometimes things like that can be like unintentional slips. Slip of the tongue, man. Oh my gosh, and she ended it by saying, let's keep praying. I don't even want to touch on that because that's just, but that seemed like a very angry, angry video. I don't know. It reminded me of Someone who has not been in the public eye. Someone who doesn't have a PR team and doesn't um, doesn't know how to handle conflict, really. But then maybe it was her PR team that told her to do it. I don't really know. I have no idea. I want to know what you guys think. Um, I, I'm, I'm such a Britney fan. Britney bitch. I want her to go back to Vegas and do a tour if she wants. Or, you know, if she wants to fly to the moon and have a million babies with the Martian. I'm in support of that, too. So, um, that's probably going to be the end of it, you guys. But, like, as usual, I want to know what you think. So, leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Do you think Jamie Lynn's apology was sincere? Do you think that she was just so angry that she couldn't keep her mouth shut? Do you think that this was something her PR told her to do? I have so many questions. And do you guys want to see the video um, of Britney's testimony and going back and kind of diving deeper into her conservatorship throughout the years? Let me know. Um, Yeah. So anyways, you guys remember to stay weird because the truth is out there. And guess what? We're going to always get to the truth.